What's up, everyone? It's been a hot minute. I'm super pumped, super amped. It's the first Monday of February. This year is already going super quick. We're a month in, and we've only got 11 more to go till it's 2025. It's going to be a huge year. Big year, big year. Um, lots going on. Um, I haven't been on for a while because I made a bit of a negotiation with myself that I'd stay off socials for a bit. Um, the reason I stayed off socials was because I I chose to approach the summer break very differently. For those who don't know, I'm a student at the moment, and so uh, summer breaks are generally used for um, making as much money as possible for students so that then they can sustain themselves a bit better throughout the year. Uh, but I decided that that wasn't going to be the case for me this summer because um, I chose to use this break to work on myself a bit. Uh, I wanted to learn a new skill and I wanted to work on my physical health. Um, there's reasons behind that, um, which I'll jump into, but um, yeah, I'm super pumped to get back to uni uh, because I'll get to jump back into um, the wonderful world of medicine i'll get to see all my old mates that's that's a big one and um just generally get back into the rhythm of things uh because for the last three months or so i've been just going on my old own steam and and sometimes that's been really good and um and sometimes i haven't been as productive as i wanted to be but it was a test um three months see what i could achieve and uh, i've learned to boat load so this summer, um, what do I upskill in? I tried to learn to code. Um, so for those of you that are technically minded, um, I jumped into HTML, JavaScript, CSS, um, a bit of Python um, with the Django framework, uh, learned a little bit of React and, um, and a few other little tricks of the trade when I jumped down a rabbit hole and, uh, and I... <laughs> watched youtube tutorials that weren't to do with any of those things but um those were the main ones that that i jumped into and it it was definitely a steep learning curve anyone who's learned to code knows how much you need to learn before you can actually um before you can actually execute on anything that you want to. And, and I'm, I'm not saying that I'm a pro by any stretch of the imagination. Um, there's a long way to go with that. But I've also had a mate who's a software engineering student who's been uh, directing me and helping me um, when when I get a bit lost. He's way smarter than I am. Uh, I, 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 I've just been um, testing and adjusting and, and trying to learn from my mistakes. Um, but we're working on a project together, him and I. Uh, so he he's doing the more difficult things, to say the least, and I'm doing the more basic legwork um, to, to get this thing off the ground. Um, we're building a web app. Uh, essentially, we want to... Um, we want to help the student community, and so we're really looking forward to launching that in a couple of weeks. So that's what I've been working on. It's been frustrating at times, but it, it's super awesome um, to see it all coming together. Um, yeah, it's, it's probably taken us a couple of months to get to where we are at the moment. Um, when we launch, we'll, we'll launch the first version of it. It will have all the basics that you need for just a um, the first version but we're going to be iterating on it all the time and we've got a lot of features that we want to add on so when we do launch if if you think that it could could have a few more things that could help it along don't worry we are thinking about those things we we would like to hear those ideas but don't think this is the final version done and dusted um so super amped about that we'll we'll launch in a couple of weeks and um another cool thing to do with that is our our web app is going through a business accelerator we've been accepted into a cohort um that kicks off on wednesday uh and essentially what that means is that we will be in a cohort of startups um, that generally they're tech companies but could be um, could be something else. Uh, and the reason why they're tech companies is because um, all the founders of these companies they, they they have aspirations to to grow their their tech uh, globally or that's the plan. You start local and see where it goes but um, long term, 
uh, that they want to grow globally. Uh, so, so that's super exciting. Um, one to be with that cohort and just learn about other people's businesses and see what what they are working on and hear about their challenges and their own businesses. But also be to be connected with mentors um, from a range of different areas to be um, hooked up with a lot of resources that we wouldn't get otherwise. And 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 just be an environment in an environment where they they try to set you up for success long term um so really amped about that um to be in a in a new environment but also to do a lot of learning around areas that i may not even be aware of so super exciting uh the other thing is that i've been training um i've been trying to work on my physical health training every day um at least once a day some trainings have been better than others but on the whole um it's been good to do something just every day that it just set a standard for myself um that might be going for runs that might be doing a workout at home that might be going to the gym that might be going to the pool whatever it is that once a day go out um get active get the heart uh, beating a little faster lift some heavy things and and come home and be satisfied so um yeah i've been working on my health because um i've been um training for a competition in march uh for underwater hockey and for anyone who knows i've been um i used to play a lot of underwater hockey back in the day it's been around a, just over a decade since i've played my last competitive underwater hockey tournament so i'm really amped to be jumping back into the water and um and playing in new zealand's premier competition it's going to be super awesome it's i'm going to catch up with old mates see some new faces that have joined the scene since i've been away um but uh, i'm really amped to to jump into the water again and and see how it goes because you never quite know until you're in a in a competition and everyone's trying their hardest to win so yeah that, that's super super wicked can't wait uh the other thing that i um, i can't wait for is to just jump back into uni um because like i said earlier um see some old mates see some friends um we've got some pretty cool rotations this year so we're going to be learning about pediatrics uh so that's um medicine to do with kids uh also we'll be jumping into psych med so that's like mental health and see the extremes of that uh and also jumping into um some advanced surgery so that's things like um neurosurgery uh there's a few others um transplant stuff like that so so that'll be exciting it'll be um pretty amazing to to witness and to learn and to see and do all that stuff um we'll be absorbing a lot of information i'm sure but um it'll be good to jump into the deep end and and the cool thing about fifth year is that we're not as fresh as we were in fourth year which was our first year of placement so uh that that means we we understand the hospital a little bit more we we understand what we can and can't do we we're just a little bit more comfortable going into the year and so um we rather than spending a few weeks figuring out things and um where we should be and where to find things um we we can just jump straight in and that way um we can take advantage of these these learning opportunities a lot quicker so just it's going to be an epic year 2024 it's it's already a month in um but it's going to go just like that and and i can't wait it's 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 going to be wicked so that's all from me at the moment i know that was a bit of a spiel um but there's a lot of stuff that i'm very excited about and and i think 2024 is going to be a good year so that's all from me hope everyone at least has one thing that they're excited for for 2024 um yeah make it a big year because um yeah you, you never know where you're gonna land if you if you make big goals and you try and execute on them even if you don't don't quite make it uh at least you'll land somewhere in a positive at least in the vicinity of it and it'll be in the positive direction so that's all for me almost 10 minutes exactly hope everyone is
आप ले सकते हैं ऐसा फॉर्मेट